After a tough loss on senior day last Saturday, the Bison arrived in Virginia on Friday afternoon. Got a real HU, got to get this one straight up. It's been a long, hard road to redemption, but Coach Harrell has inspired us to keep pushing forward and finish the season strong, which has been our motto all year. It should be a great game. We look forward to it. We're ready to bring home this home, this, this, this victory back to you guys. Howard University, we're going to bring it back. The road to redemption coming, coming your way. Let's go. The last time Howard was able to win this game was in 1996 and our current offensive coordinator and quarterback coach, Ted White, was on that team and uh, we drilled Hampton. The team unpacked, gathered for some lunch to shake all the loss against South Carolina State. Then Coach Harrell addresses the team to prepare us mentally for the battle against H.I. tomorrow. We are here for business. That's it. We're not here trying to get caught up what's going on around us as far as the real H.U. guys. It's going to be another crazy environment. There's no doubt about it. You got some folks coming from Washington D.C. just to see this game. They want to see this team. Huh? They haven't been, they haven't been like that for a long time. Folks want to see you play because the way you play, because you play a lot of pride, a lot of passion. They like that. They like that. And we're gonna give it to them tomorrow. We play every play. We're gonna take no plays off. That's what we gotta get back to. We didn't play that way last week for South Carolina State. Now we got an opportunity to show who we are. Let's go out and do it for the seniors. Let's go do it for the seniors, guys. The last time they would get a chance. University. After hearing Coach speech the night before, we were well prepared, ready, and motivated, and anticipated the kickoff. After Coach talked to us, he said something that really stuck home. Them saying they're the real HU is like them saying they're the real Theodore Graham. He wasn't having that. Once we arrived at the stadium, my mind was racing. We knew that Hampton was right for the picking. We was finna end a, a long drought, and we were so so prepared and so eager to play the game. Everybody's getting focused. The last time we beat Hampton, I was six years old. Pac was still alive. Biggie was still alive. Uh, this win was was so important not only to to the faculty and staff, to the football team, but to the alumni as well. We needed this win to salvage our season. Free game, I think the players are looking to their eyes and, and reading their body language. I felt like we was ready to go. So it, it kind of got me going a little. I heard you guys say a lot. A lot, a lot this year about time to eat. Um, right now, it's time to eat, guys. We've been hungry for a long time. Woo! Right now, it's time to eat. Let's go, man. Let's go. When we hit this football field, we play nobody but that team that's on that field. Let's go. That's like it. It kind of reminds me when I was playing at Howard University, the excitement that I had during those times. But just to see my guys react and ready for Hampton University, it really got me excited. And all the things we worked for all year, even that week, for Hampton University to start this show. I saw the confidence, I saw the will, I saw the desire, and at that point, I knew we had to win. The last time we beat those guys was like 1996, um, which was 15 years or 16 years from now. When I was here playing quarterback, we were the 1996 Black College National Champion. We won a championship together. You know, <laughs> you know Ted came here as a, a young guy in 19, what, 93, 94? 94. You know, he sat there for a year, and then he became one of the greatest quarterbacks to ever play in the MEAC. And uh, there's no doubt he's going to be one of the greatest coaches to ever come, not just in the MEAC, but you know, all over indoors. He, he's had a plan for his coaching career. He's doing a great job. He's going to be great at it. The number one thing I want to do is get in here and get a victory over Hampton. Uh, Fifteen years is a long time to sit there and take a whip and, and be, not really be known as the real HU and come to the party on the football field. And, you know, I thought about that from the time Coach Harold offered me the opportunity to come back and coach with him this year, but you know, we got to beat Hampton University. So I want to be a part of bringing Howard back. When I was here, we was winning, so when I heard, you know, so Howard not winning, it would hurt me to my heart. I turned on Sports Center and see him, you know, see him getting killed or winning one or two games a season, it would kind of hurt me. So I want to be a part of bringing Howard back to what's supposed to be. I just couldn't pass up the opportunity to come back with, you know, guys that I consider my brothers. Howard football is all about pride, integrity, commitment. It's about it's about being determined and making making the best out of out of what you got to work with. The biggest mentor I ever had, Coach Petty, uh, to learn from him and to be able to come back and you know influence these young men to uh, you know, really bring that pride tradition back to Howard football. We won the coin toss and chose to defer to the second half. Defense was on the field first. The game was seesawed and nobody scored in the first quarter. 
In the second quarter, the Bison came alive and started to execute offensively. They never saw it coming. I was excited that momentum was on our side for a change. We got on the board first. At the halftime, we just discussed that we had to bury the hatchet and not get complacent. Just come out and finish stronger. We were trying to make sure we did everything possible to win this game and finish. We were just 30 minutes away. In the third quarter, we picked up where we left off. The defense started off strong once again. Right when Hampton thought they had momentum, Lanny Kelly comes through as he did all year with a big interception and almost takes it to the house for six. But instead of getting a touchdown, we got three points. But points are always good. Points are a premium. Offense was in a tough position and having the defense made a play. They blitzed our young quarterback, caused him to fumble, recovering the fumble in the end zone for a touchdown. It is now in the fourth quarter and we had a huge support from the fans. From the Dean of Residence Life to Uncle Luke being on the sideline. We couldn't let him down. We was going to fight hard to the end to make sure we come out victorious. Even some of Hampton's students came on our sideline to try to discourage us, but we kept fighting and got the win. But our message was three and out and get off the field. And Landon Kelly comes up big once again, as he's done all season in his past defense to get us off the field and ultimately give the offense the ball back to win the game. We gained our composure, got in the victory formation, and ran the clock out. Hampton were out of timeouts, so they couldn't stop the clock. We won the game. I couldn't, I couldn't even say any words. I was crying, hugging my teammates, hugging my coaches, thanking my coaches for just believing in us the whole time. Never, we never put our heads down no matter what happened. Felt like that big monkey done jumped off our back. 15 years, 14 game losing streak to HI, it's over with, it's in the past. Now it's time to start our own win streak. And it was nothing like having an opportunity to beat Hampton at Hampton. Especially for me, when I transferred to Howard, I, I chose Howard over Hampton. Last year, when Hampton got a win against us, the head coach came up to me and told me I should have came there. And this year, I didn't see him after the game. But he said, Howard offensive line can't get things done. We can't run the ball. We can't protect. Well, guess what? We got the job done. Next year, we all coming back besides our left guard. But we will make them proud. We will be the top offensive line in the MEAC.